good food, whether you're a vegetarian or not, so it's not just uh, sticks and twigs, don't worry, it's a little bit Really worth going, and I think this is the 10th anniversary. So hopefully, um, uh, TRIA and, and uh, Texas Solar Energy Society is going to go all out for it. Um, here's the problem. Um, sometimes we have a booth, sometimes we don't. But historically in the past, we ponied up with the, the Austin Group. And for years, the Austin Group had the same name that we had. You know, they had the Austin Sustainable Living, the Sustainable Building Coalition. We had San Antonio. We went together. They've morphed theirs into a nonprofit called uh, Design, Build, Live. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to have as far as booth, but we really haven't talked to them yet about sharing anything. Um, also, this will be the first year that I won't be able to be there. Uh, because of commitments that I have with the Build San Antonio Green. It's also the same weekend as a big event uh, that is uh, put on by the Greater San Antonio Builders Association. And since we're um, tied very closely to that group, I'm going to be, um, I'd rather be in Fredericksburg, but I'm going to be at this home show in, in San Antonio. So. Um, It'll probably be the last time I'll have that conflict because next year I will not have that kind of commitment with Build San Antonio Green like I've got this year. Um, it's a whole other story. But um, anyway, um, with my not being there, I really hate to say, hey, come on, kids, let's put on a show, and my presence not being at the thing. So um, it's something that if we were going to do it, I'd want to do it right. You know, have something that looked halfway decent and uh, being able to recruit people to come to the thing. But unless there's um, three or four volunteers who really want to stand up and say, yeah, I really want to make a go of it, I can help with you as far as the planning and talking about it. I just can't be here. So um, if you're interested at all, please contact Wayne or me after the meeting and we can talk about uh, that event. Whether or not we do have a booth, though, please go. It's really, really worthwhile. And until you learn a lot, I, I learn a lot every year. I, uh, Steve, you got a booth there? No. No, no. no I have other kind of flicks, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let's see. Um, other things happening? Uh, the city is moving very quickly with um, uh, retrofit for um, affordable homes. Coming up, there's an affordable parade of homes called the Affordable Showcase. And it's going to have. Um, uh, everything that's going to be in the affordable showcase is going to be uh, built San Antonio Green, at least level one, which is good. Um, hopefully, 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 there will be uh, a paper creed house that's going to be involved in that, but even though it hasn't been given a total green light, it hasn't been given a total red light either, so keep your fingers crossed. It would be great to see that happen. However, there does look like there's going to be one house there built by Fred Elsner, which is going to be a, a zero net energy home. Uh, or what we're calling in our uh, aspect level three solar home. And a level three solar home is going to be a home that's designed to uh, produce as much energy as the load. So it's going to be a highly efficient house to begin with and have some um, a solar component to it. And hopefully, if things work out right, it will be um, match the kilowatt of energy that's going to match the load of the house. And who's doing that? Uh, Fred Elsner. Stephen, is that net year to year, or is that max load matched eight? It's on an annual basis. So it's like January to December match up. So yeah, sometimes during the year you're going to produce more than you use, and vice versa. Um, if it, even if it doesn't match that, um, it's going to be a pretty good bump. Now, what makes this a big challenge? Is it's not that it hasn't been done before, but it just hasn't been done before that I know of, maybe once or twice with an affordable house. Now, affordable house in San Antonio has a very distinct price limitation to it. It's $110,000. So we're talking about a house that costs $110,000. It's going to have a fairly substantial voltaic system on it. Now, you know how much PV cost is pretty expensive. So, we're having um, the, we're getting a discount on the photovoltaic system, but still, 
it might be about $13,000, which is more than 10% of the cost that's the cap for this house. And so now we have less than $100,000 to make a more most efficient small house as, as you can imagine. So it's going to be very, very challenging. Is it going to be stick built? Maybe, maybe not. Um, um, there is a slight chance that I might be uh, SIPs from E8 systems. Yeah, other than that, it'll probably be stick, and if it is stick, then it'll probably be urethane um, foam. Right. Another thing about urethane foam, there's a workshop that the San Antonio Green is doing about urethane foam uh, coming up on the 4th. For those of you who are builders are concerned about this sort of thing, um, look at the built-in Green website. Interestingly, they're changing the